Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. Last video I have explained you about the production management and operations management. What are the differences that I have explained and what is the relationship or interface of production department with the other departments. And briefly I have explained about production planning. So in this second video, I'm going to explain you about planning and control in production management. So what is planning, what is control and uh, the functions of production planning I'm going to explain in examination frequently this type of questions will be asked in theory. So after completing this theory part then only we will start the problems on production management. So before explaining the production planning and control take the screenshot of the points then I'll explain all the points. Huh. So production, planning and control. Planning and control are the basic functions of any management, whether it is production management or finance management or purchase management, marketing management. For all the management areas, planning and control are the basic activity of any department. So planning and control are the important components of the management process. The first function of management is planning. That means deciding in advance what we have to do in future. Then planning involves the consideration of all inputs, particularly from the perspective of production management. Planning involves we have to decide what are the inputs required for making the desired output. Then control involves the corrective action. That means whatever we have planned, are we achieving it or not? Or are there any deviations or variations from the planned activity and the actual act activity? So controlling involves taking corrective measures if there are any deviations between planned activity and the actual activity. Now production planning would therefore, now we are concentrating on our topic that is production planning. These are the general terms, general terms which is applied to any management. Now production planning would involve, would therefore consist mainly of evaluation and determination of uh, production input such as labor, machinery, equipment, material and to achieve the desired output. So from the perspective of production planning it involves, it involves deciding what are the inputs required in order to make the output. Every production requires different resources like material, labor, machinery, equipment or any other facilities. So deciding what are the inputs required to make the desired output that is production planning. And the main function objectives of production planning are why production planning has to be made. Some objectives are there. The first objective determining the nature and magnitude of various inputs or factors of production uh, manufacture to desired output. First of all, the producer or the manufacturer has to decide what are the different inputs required, what is, what is the type of material required, how much material is required, how much labor is required, how much machinery is required. So deciding the various inputs, that is the main objective of production planning. Secondly, to coordinate the labor, machines and equipment in the most efficient and economic manner. That means production will be successful only when efficiently we are using all the resources. Materials should not go waste. Labor should not be idle. That means all the input resources should be efficiently and effectively utilized. That is the objective of uh, production planning. Next one is establishing targets and checking these against performances. Planning also requires that all the inputs should be uh, targets, sure, targets how the material and other resources should be used in order to achieve the desired target. Next one is ensuring smooth flow of material by eliminating any bottlenecks if any in the production. We have to estimate if is there 
any bottlenecks which will come in future while producing the goods. So before on hand, we have to find out what are the obstacles, what are the constraints or bottlenecks which we may face while using the material. Utilization of underemployed resources. If any resources are underutilized, so how we have to make use, the full use of all the resources to manufacture the desired output of right quality and right quantity at the right time. Our objective is the production is made in order to produce the right quality goods, good quality goods and right quantity at the right time. So these are some of the objectives of production planning. Now basic functions of production planning. In examination, a question may be asked, explain what are the functions of production planning and control. So what are the functions? The first function is routing, dispatching, loading, scheduling, expediting and uh, estimating. These are the four, six functions of production planning and control. The first is routing. Routing means finding out the path or route through which all the resources will be used in order to produce the desired output. The path or sequence of utilizing. Routing is the first and the most important and difficult task in the production control. So before starting the production, the producer, the manufacturer has to find out the route or path. Routing means determining the path or route on which manufacturing operations are to be followed in manufacturing a particular product. So in order to produce the product, what is the path to be followed? What is the route to be followed? That means how to utilize all the resources. Next comes dispatching. Dispatching means issuing the orders and issuing the material in order to produce the output. So dispatching orders are issued in terms of their priority and work is assigned to the workforce or labor force. Dispatching in effect determines by whom the work should be done. Who or by whom the work should be done. The work should be allotted to whom. Then dispatching involves giving the necessary authority to start as per the schedule. So giving the authority to the workforce to start the work. That is dispatching. Next one is loading. Loading can be defined as a study of relationship between load and capacity at the places where work is done. So in the factory, loading means, uh, I mean, dispatching or issuing between the relationship, finding out the relationship between load and capacity at the places. And loading and scheduling are designed to assist in the efficient and systematic planning at work. So this scheduling and loading is very important. Now, loading provides a complete and correct information about the number of machines available and their operating characteristics such as speed, capacity, capability, etc. So in this loading, we have to find out what is the capacity, capability, efficiency of each of the machines required in order to produce. Now scheduling. One of the very important functions, step in the planning and control of manufacturing operation is scheduling. Scheduling means arranging and finding out the time required. That means in what sequence the work has to be done and how much time is required in order to complete each of the operations. So scheduling involves fixing priorities for different items and operations. Some predecessions and succession, I mean, rules have to be followed. Which activity to be done first, which activity to be done next. And scheduling develops a timetable of manufacturing. By what time? we can be able to complete our output. A schedule is a program showing list of items to be produced in a given time frame. That's all. Next is expediting. Expediting means follow up. Follow up procedure where we compare the actual or I mean production with the planned production. Actual activity with the planned activity. So that in order to find out if uh, variations are there, some corrective measures will be taken in order to remove those variations. So expediting or follow up activity of production control is the last in the series of functions, but is the most important. Follow up means to see whether the work is being carried on according to planning or not. 
because already we have made the planning now we have to follow up check whether our actual activity is going according to plan or not so and the orders and instruction issued at shop so it estimates that the material material and tools and the equipment are supplied at the job at the right time to the right person seeing that whether material has been issued to the right person and the job has been assigned to the right person that is expediting the last is estimating finding out estimating involves deciding the quantity of output to be produced and the cost involved on the basis of sales forecast so first we make the sales forecast on the basis of which we make the production so in order to produce how much material is required how much labor is required that is the estimating step the manpower machinery material requirement to meet the anticipated target of production are determined in this step and in other words a production program is prepared a bill of material is prepared listing all the items needed to manufacture the design in this way these are the functions of production planning so inshallah we'll continue the next topic in the next video